How are you doing? It's your girl Oamine Chibazalwe and welcome back to another episode of To Hell and Back. Now you guys know how we do it. FS Emporium on my bag. She has been sponsoring this whole show so thank you so much FS Emporium for making sure that I always look gorgeous. I do have a full picture in this dress. I'm sure I'm going to put it somewhere here so that you guys can see the full design. She is amazing at what she actually does. I will make sure that I leave the link to her Instagram in the description box down below but other than that i'm sure that you guys will have seen sort of like you know a pulled up um instagram page you can go ahead and take the name and then you can check out and also follow her please um she's really amazing at what she does so yeah i'm just feeling so grateful guys because if not for fs how are we gonna be looking on this show <laughs> but anyway ninjas i also want to say a huge shout out to mano media because they're the ones that we have been working with throughout even though today we're filming independently i do have to to say a huge shout out to them they're very good at what they do their production is top quality i'm learning a lot working with him he is also going to be there guys on the 16th of december which is this coming saturday um we've got our second master class guys so if you want to make money on youtube or you want that extra income please make sure that you come i'm sure there'll be pamphlet here which manu media is the one that even designed it so they're really good guys he does a lot of stuff i will leave the link to his instagram in the description box down below i will also link his youtube channel so that you guys can go to his youtube channel and also check him out okay now ninjas today we do have another story and this particular one really touched me i'm not even going to lie i do have mavis in the studio obviously not her real name um and if you would like to basically donate and help her out please do use the account numbers the account numbers that i'm gonna put you guys will understand as we get into this story but this is one of the most heartbreaking stories that I would personally say I've actually heard. How are you? Good and you? I'm fine, thank you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Anyway, obviously we're not going to ask too many questions mm -hmm. just because you do want your identity hidden. Mm -hmm. um, please tell me, you know, how did this start? Because you were scammed how much? Almost three million. Almost three million rands. How 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 were you scammed? Like, can you please tell me? Like, walk me through how you met the person that scammed you. Okay. Firstly, they they how I met them. They had a shop like uh, whereby they were selling herbal um, medicines. So I went there looking for something, and uh, upon talking like. Uh, the way like, yeah, um, God and your ancestors wants to give you guys money, but you guys are always um, uh, not sure, not want to give it a try. Um, I remember very well this guy was saying, um, when, if a lion comes uh, chasing you, are you just going to put your, heads, uh, your hands in the head and run? And run or, are you, or are you just going to say, God help me, or you will be running and say, God help me. So why don't you give a try this? Because it will, he, it will work. Um, I was not convinced, but part of me was like, you know, in the situations that we face at times, you, you think, let me try. Uh, it's, it's, life is a risk. At times, we need to take calculated risks. Mm -hmm. um, I was invited to their office. I went. To Where their were office. their offices? Um, somewhere in Israel. Okay, okay, okay. I was invited into their offices. I went to their offices. Upon arriving there, then uh, when we got there, I found them there. Then uh, the lady started changing, wearing this black, long black dress with a black duke. Okay, we went to the consulting room. Um, when we went to the consulting room, there was uh, some medicines, things like sangoma things, like which they made this look like, you know, it's a genuine thing, like. 
Then at the corner, there was a two plate stove with a pot. He, she opened the pot, the pot was empty. Um, she started praying, 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 praying. It's dark in the room. Eh? Started praying, 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 praying. After praying, after for five or ten minutes or so, she opened the pot. When she opened the pot, there was ten rent, which was, it was she were like, it's like tight. tight. Yes, it was okay. tied with a, ro a red uh, cloth. cloth or something. Yeah. And there were some needles in there, and there was some five rent, and there was something like a a cloth, a blood cloth. Then she said, yo, 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 she started screaming. Yo, 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 things are bad, things are bad, things are bad. I got a bit scared, but again, I remember the Nigerian things with, ah, uh, these things, we always watch them in the movies, Nigerian movies. Yeah. These are playing them now. Then she said, no, 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 look, 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 look. Yo, yo, started screaming, screaming, screaming. Okay, fine. Then we need to consult Papa. Oh, okay. Um, she get rid of that pot. She took the pot outside. Um, called Papa. She sat then in the mat and uh, she started singing, clapping hands. She asked, clap your hands. I clap hands. She started singing, 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 singing. Then there was a, some, a footstep like, but like it's moving on the roof. I could just feel the, the footsteps. Now it's in the roof, then ooh, something's falling. Then um, she said, uh, Oh, thank you, Papa. You came, Papa. Hey, Papa. This, Papa. This. I came here. Yeah. Then the Papa, the Papa, now started greeting me. And uh, she called. He called me my daughter. Hey, my daughter. You here? Thank you for coming. You see, your things um, are not good. Um, yeah. Even at work, I see they they don't like you. Oh, okay. Um, because I once had problems at work. That made sense. Then, uh, yeah, at work, they don't like you. Hey, this and this and this. You can't afford your things. What is it that you want? Ah, my kids to go to school, buy a nice house. You know, the life, I don't want to be rich, but just to afford life. And uh, uh, like any other parent, and um, see my kids not suffering. Um, then he said, oh, okay, do you have an envelope? Then this girl said, no, yes, we have an envelope, Papa. I said, yeah, okay, give her that envelope. Uh, do you have 10 rand? I said, yes, I do have a 10 rand. I gave the 10 rand. She said, my understanding, she was putting the 10 rand in the envelope. She put the 10 rand in the envelope. It's, remember, it's dark in this room. Eh? She put the envelope, uh, the 10 rand in the envelope. After that, she said, um, take this 10 rand, uh, put it under your pillow. Uh, after putting it under your pillow, uh, you must pray. Uh, at three o'clock, and when you pray, after praying, you must open the envelope. If there's nothing, don't come back. But if you see something, not the ten rent, then you are more than welcome to come back. Oh, okay. I prayed at three o'clock. She called me, the lady. She called me three. Come, time to pray. Okay, we prayed at three o'clock. After praying, I opened the envelope. There was hundred rent. Oh, wow. Then um, I, didn't, I didn't inform her immediately. I went to work. Then she said, um, I called her the following day. Yeah, no, there was 100 rand in the envelope. She said, yeah, no, okay, wow, thank you, thank you. Yo, your ancestors, yo, they responded very quick. Before you continue, I just want to find out, when you went for that consultation, did you pay? For the first, uh, I paid 150, 150. Okay, okay, mm -hmm. okay, okay. Then um, your ancestors are very quick. They responded, oh, okay. Yeah, you must take that 100 rent, go to the busy shop. Don't go to tax shop. Go to any busy shop, um, buy something. That thing that you buy, you must, whether it's a drink or something, you must drink it alone, not anyone. Because now, if you can share it with somebody, you'll be giving your lucky to other people. Oh, okay, no job. I drove, I went to... Where I went, I bought the um, energizer, came back, I had the energizer very quick. Um, then the change, I kept it. Oh, okay. Then she said, yeah, okay. Then I'll in she said, this lady now says, I'll inform Papa. Late in the afternoon, she calls me. Yeah, Papa said, we must come to the office. All right, we went. I went to the office. Of course, I'll meet her there. 
when we got to the office, um, she said they are, oh, we started this thing, the process again, singing, clapping hands, pa 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 pa. There's some candles that were lit, she lit there. Then um, we, she came, he came again, same story, that footsteps, that echo. Um, then he said, oh, okay, I was told that when I come, I must come with a list of the things that I want. I must write down in the amount. Okay, then I came with the list and uh, she said, uh, oh, he came back, oh, my daughter, my daughter. <laughs> my daughter, my daughter, that's how he talks. <laughs> my daughter, my daughter. You see, your ancestors, they are very uh, uh, powerful. They want to help you. Um, where are you working? I inform him where I'm working. I mean, how long have you been working there? I inform him. Um, okay, no, it's fine. Then in this room, there was a container, a wooden container. Then she said, uh, approximately how much are you looking for? Then I said, maybe about 10 million will do. Then she said, yeah, but we're going to have a problem now. Uh, if we give you the 10 million, the authorities will start asking, where are you getting that money from? So how, how best do you see we can do this? Then I said, no, maybe uh, I can take loan or take my provident fund, then it, it will look like, you know, I, 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 I acquired the money from the said, oh, okay. So it was your idea that you can take a loan or you can get yes, from the I, provident? I can, I can take a loan from my provident, not to okay. sign. Okay. I take a loan from my provident fund. Yeah. Then uh, he said, do they do that? I said, yes, they do. Oh, okay. Uh, she said, um, no, it's fine. Let's see how much your ancestors want to give you. Pray, 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 pray again, pray again. After praying, I was asked to take that wooden box, uh, put it in my head, started praying again and mentioning all the things that I need. <laughs> then after that, um, I put it on the floor. After putting it on the floor, oh no, I missed something. Mm -hmm. After the 10 rand, I was asked to in order for us to have a backup, let me take the loans from the bank. I told them, but my credit score, it's not good. He said, no, 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 no. I'm, I'm very powerful, the papa now. I'm very powerful. Um, you'll get the loans. My daughter, the other the lady now, you must go with her. Hmm. She was hospital. The following day, I went with her. And it's like, they don't give you time to think. think yeah. It, they just put your mind in the bottle like, you need to do this thing now. If they say run, don't say jump. You can't ask how, how high. You must just jump. Then uh, we went to the bank. I remember we went to FNB. FNB gave me 170,000. Uh, we went to APSA. I, I said, when, while I was busy with the consultant, I pretended as if I'm being declined. I went out because she's, she's standing outside. Eh? Mm. I, I said, no, no, they, it's declined. It ups. So we went to NetBank. I said, again, I said, I did the very same story. We went to Capitec. Capitec gave me 50,000. Um, we went to the other one, Direct Exit. They gave me 30,000. I went back, all the money now is in my account. So that is money that was in your account that day. So that it's day. 170 70. from FNB. Yes. <coughs> Sorry, from, and then 50. 50 from Capitec. 50 from Capitec. Yeah. So that's now 220 uh -huh. and then plus 30,000. So that's 250,000 that you now have. Okay. So I went back. We went back to Papa. Papa said, yeah, but uh, you'll have to go and withdraw that money so that we pray for it. Then I said, I, when you see this thing of praying for money, I, I don't do. He said, no, we, now you want to tell me how to help you. I'm helping you here. I'm not, I'm not gaining anything uh, uh, in this thing. I'm just assisting you as you are crying. And like, believe me, I went, FNP sent in. I withdraw. 
um, the hundred in that at at, at, at the FNB I withdraw one hundred and fifty. Um, Capitec I withdraw I withdrew I think thirty if not forty. I can't remember the figures, but it was just a lot of money. Came back with it, started praying again. How much was that that you had in cash? 150 plus 30 or 40 from Capitex. So about 200. 200,000, yeah. Mm -hmm. I went to, we went to the back to the office, started praying again, praying again, praying again, put the money there, okay, sharp. Then, um, I was asked to take that container. The man, remember the money I brought, it's there. Then, on the floor. On the floor. Um, then I was asked again to take that container, put it in my head, started praying again. Prayed, 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 prayed again, put it on the floor. Then he said, open it. Then the lady with the white cloth, it's covered in the white cloth. Then there were ladies opened it. There were a lot of money there now in that container. I was shocked. Oh, okay. He said, yeah. <laughs> you see now, my daughter, uh, how much did you say you want? I said, I said 10, 10 million maybe will cover everything. Because remember, I wanted to do, my mom passed on. I wanted to do my mom's unveiling, my sister, because my, like, there's a lot that I needed to do. Mm -hmm. So, oh, okay, you see, um, the money that uh, your ancestors gave you, it's 14 million. Wow, 14 million, yeah. Even, uh, oh, okay. Yeah, so um, 14 million is a lot of money. So you might have to resign at work. Because honestly speaking, the, with authorities, government, they're going to be on our neck. We can't, we can't. And um, to show that it's money that uh, you give her 30,000 from that container. And I was giving 30,000 from that uh, container. I was like, wow. I went, oh, okay, I'll think about resigning. Um, went, I went to FNP. But wait, mm -hmm. when they gave you 30,000 from that container, what now happened to your 200,000 that was on the floor? They, remember, they, my 200,000 will remain there. They're giving me, because now they say um, they need to pray for this money. They need to pray for this money because now, because I've got this cloud, it will be mixed with this and I might not see what I'm, what they've given me, the ancestors. Um, I, I was also not happy about the whole arrangement because I remember I just didn't sleep well. Um, we went, I went to FNP, deposited the money, some money, FNP could not accept it, like it was uh, 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 tempered with, like it has some stains. Hey, hey, the following day we started praying, we had this three o'clock prayer, 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 you know, because now they're waiting for me to resign. Hey, I, I delayed, honestly speaking, I delayed. There was a time I was asked to groom Kombut for them. I've never groomed Kombut in my entire life, but I did it. I did it. I did it. I did them combo tea. I, it's okay. Then um, they put at me under so much pressure. I was under so much pressure and I felt I was failing my work. Then I turned out my resolution. So from the day you met this this woman, how long did it take for you to resign? How many months? It's less than six months. Less than six months. So were you in constant communication mm. with them? Mm. I've got all the chats with them. Yeah. She would send me, like, they're keeping a record of me. Where are you going? What are you doing? You know, even if I can say I'm going to see my family member, when you come back, call, because, hey, this world, it's very cruel. You not you need not to mix with a lot of people. You know, we are in this process, blah, blah, blah. Mm. Then, um, even the church, don't tell anyone. Don't tell anyone. Don't even tell your kids. I 
remember when uh, the money came now to when I was supposed to after resigning at work, the money came. How long did it take for the money to come after you resigned? It didn't take long. Maybe a month? Yeah, a month. Okay. Then we went to well, I informed them the money, I got the money, then I was told, yeah, come, we went, we prayed. And uh, Papa said, yeah, go to FNP and withdraw the money. I said, but that's not the agreement. We never agreed with that. And to know that my kids will never forgive me for this. It's okay. <laughs> I told them that <laughs> this thing, it's, it's not how we, we, we started. Because mm -hmm. when we started, I told them, I know about this game of yours. And they, they said, no, 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 it's not that. We're not like that. We can't do that to a woman being. <laughs> and I told them, <laughs> this is the money I worked so hard for. Papa was very angry with me. He was so angry with me, shouting at me. Then we, we went to, a, they've got a driver who's driving a Mercedes. They drove me with to up to FNP in Sentin. And I told them, how can I withdraw so much money without making a notice, without giving a notice? Then they said, no, no, they know, they know, they know. Papa, I'm, I'm already there. Like, I go before you. When you get there, I'm already there. We went Sentin FNB. Sentin FNB. That's F Sentin Mall. Sentin Mall. The, the problem I'm having is so many people that were scammed. That's the Sentin they were told to go mm. to. Then we went to Sentin Mall. When I got to Sentin Mall, I remember when when I cried. I was sitting outside by the lift. I said, I'm not going to do this thing. I called one friend of mine. I said, I'm scared. What must I do? You know that time, I just needed someone who can pull my hand and say, run, 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 this is not it. Then uh, this, uh, I I said, no, I'm not going to do this thing. How many people did you go to, to the bank? This lady and, the, and driver. the driver. Okay. And the driver looks like a thug, like he'll kill me, like he'll kill me. Then this guy had a, a bag, a bag, a big bag. I was like... But why do you have a bag? Why is this guy having a bag? He, this lady was no, he buys parts from somewhere. But I said, no, nah, but this bag doesn't look like a bag that uh, puts parts. Parts you know? of what? Uh, like car, car parts. Car okay. parts. Then I was like, no, 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 no. This thing is not odd. Because if it's a bag that puts a car parts, it will be oily, greasy. Like. Yeah. This one was very clean and big, neat, like... Then we went inside. I we went. Then the lady at the bank said, "No, no, no. We don't have that kind of money now. You can." I said, "No, okay. We'll come tomorrow." I went. He said, "No, no, no. But we need to inform Papa." <sighs> then we went back. Started praying. Called Papa. <gasps> Papa was so angry. Papa was so angry. I said, "No, we'll do it tomorrow. Let's, 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 let's." Because now we didn't give notice. And they didn't have I said no no they've got money there they've got money you must go there now you must go there you must go there now we went when we got to the bank it was four o'clock i remember very well when we went i there was a guy standing by the door uh he asked what are you going to do he said we said we're going to withdraw then a lady came from the manager's side where the manager sit she came. Oh, this guy informed the hair that uh, this lady is here to draw. Say, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let him. Let her in. Let her in. Oh, okay. We go in. Then um, I was told to go to number. If I'm not mistaken, it was number four or five. I can't remember, but I know it when I'm there. And we we got there. Um, remember, it's four o'clock. Remember, counting one million at four o'clock. They gave us the money. One million. million. With your uh, pension fund, how much came out? With my pension fund, 2.2. 2.2 million. Oh. So you were, that day you were able to take one, one million. million. I 
Actually, I was supposed to take all of it, but I refused. Um, we went, came back, um, prayed again. Papa came, happy now. Um, okay, my daughter, we're going to pray the whole night. But you can't go home. You must be booked somewhere, hotel, uh, so that we you are able to uh, do some other rituals. Hi. I said, but my kids don't know where I am. I said, no, you can phone them. Don't tell them everything because you're going to surprise them. They're going to be happy. And uh, again, I told them, you know, if this thing doesn't, it's a scam. My kids will never forgive me for this. Um, because honestly speaking, yes, I needed money, but I was not suffering. Mm. I was managing things. It's just that there were other things that I could not manage to do. Then uh, we they booked the hotel. We went there, bought candles, white cloth, started praying. Blah, blah. I went to sleep with this lady now. Then we they prayed, they prayed, they prayed. She prayed, she prayed. I fell asleep, but I would wake up. And she would still be praying. She would still be sitting there on the floor pretending she's praying. Then um, what surprised me was every time, even when she goes to, toy, to the bathroom, she'll take her phone. Even the language that they, they speak because they are not South African. I, I didn't understand. And I would constantly tell her, I don't like you talking with this language that I don't understand. Then she would say, no, my mother is sick at home. I need to, uh, they say she's not talking, she's in hospital, blah, 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 blah. Oh, okay, but I'm not comfortable. I made her aware of that. I'm not comfortable with it. Then come the following day, the Mercedes comes, picks, picks us up. We go back. And now the Mercedes comes back. I was now panicking that we were delaying. Remember, I was asked to give them the quotation for the car. The, I already did the house viewing and etc. etc. I've got all the details. The money we need to start paying now. Why? What's the delay? Then we went back to the office. When we went back to the office, I started praying. Papa came. Ha ha ha. My daughter, you see now there's a problem. What problem? Now? Is this after you've given the one, one million. million? So now already you've given 1.2 1. million. 1. 2. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Then, ha, 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 my daughter, there's a problem now. What's the problem now? Yeah, you see, even your kids are not safe. Something came up. And this lady was pretending to be not well now, not well. She's not feeling well. These things are making her sick, eh? blah, blah, blah. What's the problem now? No, you need to go and get the other money. Something's not right. We need to pray again. Mm. Hey, we went again. Uh, to FNB. Uh, when we got to FNB, while I was sitting in the waiting area, uh, I transferred 250000 to my other FNB account. I was sitting alone. Eh? This lady was standing outside. Then I was shown where to go to withdraw. I withdrew 600000 Came back. He took the six hundred. Um... He said, yeah, we'll pray. What you need to go do now, go get uh, the safe for the money. <laughs> I even went to go buy the safe at Macro. Um, the money will start coming. So that when the money comes, the other money, you can put it in the safe. And uh, they even had, because now I was questioning them, how are we going to know that the money, that, it's, that money in the, that container is 14 million? They were saying, no. I kept on asking, where is the, that machine that counts money? Then they brought that machine. <sighs> then um, we went, oh, okay. I went with her. We bought the safe. After buying the safe, then we went home. She went with me. I, they wanted to make sure that I'm home. To your home? To my home now. Okay. 
with a boat. Yeah. Uh, because the driver is rushing somewhere, like there are now stories, there's no one to drive us. So this is after you gave the 600,000? So the driver left with the 600,000? No, no, no. Okay. According the, the 600, with the 1 million, it's there. Oh, so from the bank, you first went to the office, office. and did the prayer again. Exactly. And then after that, you had to leave with that woman uh -huh. to go and buy the, the safe. The safe. Uh -huh. And then now, uh -huh. the, driver had to, the driver had to leave. Yeah, now is. you have to bolt home. Mm. Okay. I bolt with the lady now. Mm. And when we got there, I was like, no. Part of me was like, don't let her go. But there was something that being seen now. Mm, not sure. It was heavy. Yeah, it was heavy, like blindfolding me, like which I don't think clearly mm. because honestly speaking, how did I allow this? Then um, she went. She said, "No, I'll keep. We'll keep in touch. I will be praying, and I'll be praying with you." Blah blah blah. So when did they tell you that you were gonna get the money? Remember, after the prayer of the 600, then a day or so after that, the money will come. Okay, that's why you got the, okay. the safe. Yeah. I went home. I didn't sleep. I called a friend. I asked, no, let's go and check the day by the office what's happening. That night? That night. We went. We sat outside the office. It's quiet. Quiet, quiet. Then we asked the like the people around the because remember it's it's the flat now you can't go in. Mm. So you need to have access, um, access or someone to open, open for, you. for you. And it's now late in the evening. I we went back. It's like okay, maybe let's give them a benefit of the doubt. I, the following day, I I went to license department because now the communication now it's fading. We're no more communicating like how we used to. Mm -hmm. Then um, the following day, Papa calls me. He he tells me, you see, your things you delaying your things. You think we are clever. Why did you transfer other money to your other account? I said, ah, uh, because I did it, I was like shocked. How did you know that I transferred? He said it, you transferred 250 to your other account. So now you're delaying the process of everything now. And you want to buy things. We told you, you were saying now you want to start paying, buying, paying for the car, pay for the house. How are we going to finish this thing while you... Who, you you do all these things. <sighs> go 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 to the mall. I was asked to withdraw from two banks now, but not from Centen now. <clears throat> I came in it. You know how these people, after realizing that I've been scammed, it now played me that the things that they said I must do. No normal person will do them. There was a time I was asked to go and stand by Capitec and ask and speak outside Capitec that I want my money, my money. Money belongs to me, money come to me. Outside the bank, I want to be rich. When I asked myself, how did I do this? Days went by. No communication. I had the registration here, the car that they were using. I went to license department, got the details, the car it's from Hill Pro, the, the car, the registration. When I went there, I, they're not there. I, depressed now, not know what to do, and now I must inform the kids. Um, there's a lady that I know who's also a Sangoma, Nyanga like. I went to see her because I felt I'm not okay. Something's not right with me. I'm losing my mind. Mm -hmm. So um, it was after how many days of not talking that you went to the Sangoma now? Uh, I think it was two days. Two days. Two days. Okay. 
I remember it was in the afternoon, I think it was around 5, 6. I, got, I just got there. Papa calls. You think we are clever? What are you doing there now? What are you doing there? So this Papa even talks over the phone. Mm -hmm. But he said to me, he's not a human being. He's not of living, a, a human living human being. And they don't eat the food that we eat. Because when he comes, he comes with the papa and mama. Every time, papa and mama. So they only eat the mkombot, they only live with mkombot, not uh, the ordinary food that we eat. Then I was like, but uh, I don't understand if you asking me what I'm doing here. He said, yeah, you are being rude. You lose everything that we, we want to give you. That was our last conversation. The, when I checked, the lady has blocked me. Oh, okay, before she blocked me, she, a day after the 600, the safe matter, she, she, she didn't communicate. Remember, I said the communication was failing. She then later in the afternoon, I think it was the day when I went to Jobek to check that uh, registration number, that car. Then uh, she said, um, she sent me a long message. No, I'm sorry. I didn't communicate with you. Uh, I had a problem. My phone was stolen while praying. And your things are very difficult. Okay. Um, the day when I went to see that lady, when Papa called me in the evening, in the afternoon, uh, he had called me earlier that I must go. Remember, I told you that they had a, a tax shop, a, a, a garage where they were renting, selling these herbal medicines, and asked me to go and get all those medicines because now that place it needs cleansing I must put that all those things in a refuse bag refuse bag that swing now all these things when I put them together they were not making sense now firstly my man is there now they want me to go collect the things there and I must give that the owner of the house because they had not paid the rent. I must give the owner of the house 2.5. I, I didn't go. I went to see that mama. That's when he called me and said, yeah, you think you're clever, blah, blah, blah. I said, um, you must go. I told you, do as I'm, I'm telling you. Like, you know, instructing you. And the instruction comes with you being so scared because now you are captured. Yeah. Yeah, you are captured and it's like they took all your thinking. Senses, oh, yeah. Exactly. They put it in the bottle, they're controlling everything. You do like they call you, do this now, jump. You can't ask how I they say go there, you just run and leave everything. Go don't go to church. You stay at home, don't you don't go to church, don't go see your friends or you stay at home. <sighs> yeah, I lost everything. I lost the car. I don't have anything. I don't have, I don't have anything, anything over me, anything, anything. I tried to commit suicide because really, I don't see a reason why I could I live like this. How do I live? Where do I start? Who's going to employ me at my age? It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Where do I start? Where do I start? Where do I start? <laughs> Yo, I won't lie, guys. Like, this one is quite tough for me. Um, <sighs> I tried committing suicide, but I slept for two days. <laughs> <laughs> you know when I tell you guys I hate scammers with my soul it's because there are people out there that sit and they're like oh it's because you guys love men you are love scammed you were not love scammed no you were just scammed mm. 
And this is what these guys do. And they do not work alone. They do not work alone. You know, they're a whole group. There's the driver, there's this woman, there's this fake ancestor that is there. You know, they're doing whatever it is that they actually do. Did you ever find out from which country they are from? I'm not sure whether Kenya or Uganda. Mm -hmm. Did so, they ever tell you where they were from? No. Okay. So I went to open the case. I don't know. Even the SAPS are failing me because I've not heard anything. Then there was a lady who said, no, somebody said, no, these people are they're staying in uh, Sunning Hill. They gave me the address. I'm not sure even they even went to those police because I gave them the address. Of where these people are. Mm. And the problem again is that if you are a South African and now we decide we're going to take matters in our own hands, yeah, we yeah, get our own to. guys mm. that go there. Mm. Now it's you are a South African that is going to get arrested. Mm. Yet when things are happening like this, it's fine. The, the no arrests are, are, are basically mm. being made. Or did the police actually like give you like a call to say we went to the place or something? Did they ever give you any they update? Me. They called me. They said um, they went there to the office. Apparently, they found another, not the same room, but another flat. Mm -hmm. Then they found this one who is doing similar work. Mm. They found him with fake 100 friends. But that guy was not arrested. For me, even if they were not looking for him. Yeah, he, he should be arrested. What exactly, is he doing with fake exactly, money? Exactly. So... So when you first went to the to the room, eh? the, to office, the office, yeah, it was pitch black. You couldn't see yes, anything. There's a, there's a like a, a camera. Then there's this, and when you go in, there's a bedroom. Then there's this a reception. But mm -hmm. then when you go to the other room, it's dark, 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 dark. Even the they don't switch on the light. They're on on put on those candles it's dark 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 and she, remember she has these black things that she's wearing <sighs> so when you entered and you saw the pot that was empty and then it was closed and you were praying were you told to close your eyes and never open or is there a possibility that someone came in and switched the pots? Do you think that would be possible? Did they switch off the candles for yes. you guys to pray? Yes. yes. The so it was, was now pitch black. You can't see. So there's a huge possibility that they just switched the, the pots. pots were switched. Yeah. Those things were there already. In a different in pot a that different looks pot. the same. Yes. In a different pot. So the, the, the shop that you met that woman, did you ever try to go back and ask I went if they there. know her? I went there. The things were there, but uh, they have not collected the things, which it's the things that they left there. It's not even a quarter of the money they took from me. So they, they, they have not lost anything. I mean, those Suasho things, maybe it's thousand rent, the whole stock. So, so the owner was saying they have not come back. Uh, he's going to sell the, to recover for the rent. So I, I even told the the SAPS, I'm not sure if they went because for me I'm not a police, mm -hmm. but for investigation, aren't they supposed to go there and find out mm -hmm. to investigate and like get because if you get a tenant, you need to know where the tenant comes, where he stays, and etc. And is yeah. there at least they signed or etc. Nothing was done. Nothing. <laughs> Nothing so for us to just calculate, the first time you gave them 200,000, mm -hmm. the second time you gave them 1 million rents, mm -hmm. the, the third That's time you gave them 600,000, the fourth time you gave them 250 200, or 200,000. Mm -hmm. How has this affected your life? Hence, I'm saying, I don't see a point of living. Because now, where do I start? I can't even buy bread now. I can't, I can't. It just hit my family apart. <laughs> Your children know about this now, eh? They know. 
How are they, um, you know, handling? Firstly, it was hard for them. Then we realized that I wanted to commit suicide. They asked, they, they pleaded with me, Mommy, please forgive yourself. <laughs> they pleaded with me, Mommy, you need to forgive yourself. <laughs> <laughs> we can't lose you. We can't lose money and lose you. <laughs> but where do I start, oh, mommy? <laughs> you know, I, I, I don't know. I don't know whether I'm leaving or what. <laughs> At times, I'm losing my mind. <laughs> I get sick. I can't even afford to buy panado. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, headache! You can't even buy panado, panado, panado. You know, in all honesty, I just, I don't know, I don't. <laughs> I don't know whether I'm going or coming. I don't know. 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 Ninjas, I I've really... Lost, I've lost interest of everything. But now I fear my kids. First thing for them. They have forgiven me. <laughs> I, can't, I can't do this again. Because I'm going to leave them with the wounds that they can't, they won't be healed. Please don't take your life. Difficult. You know, to those guys, it's just money. But to you, it's your whole entire life. And I think that this is a point where I plead that together as South Africans and foreigners, we work together to stop the scammers. Because there is no way that you're going to be South African and listen to the story that you have and not hold a grudge. Mm -hmm. And as much as we don't know those exact people, we are all just now constantly in, in, how can I say, in the fence when it comes to foreigners, especially now Ugandans, because they, what we have found is that it's Ugandans that mostly lie with their ancestors. They have mastered the game. Mm. And for so many years, guys, because no one has been exposing this, mm. they have been going on and mm. scamming people. People mm. have been taking their lives. People mm. have been, you know, just going into the darkest places, you know, like to you guys that are scammers out there, it's just money. But to the victims that you guys take money from, this is their entire life. This is their livelihood. This is their families. This is everything to them. And so I really honestly do plead that as South Africans and foreigners, please let's get together and help because at the end of the day, as much as we love you guys as our brothers and our sisters from other African countries, there is no way that we are going to accept and sit down and be still and say, no, we are one, yet these are the things that you guys do to us. I know that even as South Africans, we do have scammers, but I won't lie. Like people, especially Ugandans, when it comes to ancestors, they are on another level because it's also greed that mm. that drives mm. them. Mm. My biggest question now is, how is it that you are able to go to FNB at four o'clock, almost closing exactly. time, mm. and without ordering a cent, mm. but you're able to come out one with million. one million? Mm. And how did this guy know that you actually That's transferred right. an exact That's amount of two hundred and fifty thousand rents? Because there is no way that is There's impossible. No 
that they will know unless someone from the inside has actually informed them that you know what uh, this 250,000 that is that has been transferred because please tell me guys how does it make sense she went in there it was only you and the bank tailor that actually made um, the transaction and I think that if there's anything I am also going to try and take FNB they should actually understand that there's something wrong with their sentence branch because why is it that everyone is being told to go there and they are told no go there um, you know I'll, I'll be there before yes, you I'll before do this you. and you will come back with that money mm. I want to ask you when you went the first time and they said that they did not have that money it was a different person from the one that when you went no, she was when there when I went and they said the lady said they don't have money I didn't see the manager mm -hmm. then we went back remember it was that time when I was panicking like yeah then um, when we went back she just came was it the manager that came so, so they say so they say this yeah. is the manager mm -hmm. but she's someone that is working in certain fnb yes. yes and she's not by the teller she's she from the office, office inside yes because the guy was standing by the door instructing people who want like there it was closing time it was just about to be closed so if because the tellers closed before five fnb if i'm not mistaken they close at five mm -hmm. so a tellers they do the counting so from four o'clock they don't take uh, large clients. sums mm -hmm. amounts yeah yes. but this lady came and this guy told him that uh told her that uh, she wanted to withdraw then she said no 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 let her in let her in one million at four one m at four pm for someone maybe that may not understand please just tell me mentally where were you like the first day that you actually entered that room? Were you not scared of the fact that it's dark? It was, was only you and this one. So was, what gave you the boldness to still speaking, continue and stay there? Yeah. Honestly speaking, I'm still asking myself even today. How I kept on going there because it was not a once off visit. Mm -hmm. I went. How many times would you say you visited that place? Maybe five, six times. Because there was a time I was asked to bring Kongoti. There was a time then they said, no, no, you need to bring them combat. You can't give it to this girl. You need to come and give your ancestors them combat. We drink with your ancestors. Then there was a time I even asked when they were telling me about the ancestors. I was asking, from which side? From my mother's side or from my, my father's side? Then Papa was like, like if you ask too much, they get ang angry. Then Papa said, no, 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 you don't have to know that. It's not important. What's important is that your ancestors want to give you money. So the language that this ancestor was speaking English. with an accent. Yes. And then this woman that you were with also. Would you say if you look at her just estimating plus minus how old would she be? Early thirties. Early thirties. So like me almost. Mm. Yeah, like you almost. In South Africa, we definitely need to change the laws when it comes to scamming. Mm -hmm. We really honestly need to. Because I feel like due to the fact that it's it's made almost like, oh, go to small claims and claim. Mm -hmm. How are you going to go to claim, small claims for over 2 million, almost 3 million rands? Mm -hmm. Because they kept at like 25,000 rands, mm -hmm. you know. In other countries, even just to love scam, they will arrest Americans. They are arresting people from south africa for things like that like you you are a foreigner or you're a south african in south africa you commit fraud in terms of you defraud they take that as fraud mm. and i think that that's one of those things that in south africa i think that they really honestly need to change the laws when it comes to that because obviously even if it's an employee at whatever bank what fear do they have because they know that scamming actually is not considered really a crime it's like oh okay they it's were smart money. enough then that's fine it's your money you gave the money to them but you didn't give them the money for the things that they do. you didn't give them the money they basically promised you something mm. that now they did not um actually follow through mm. you know I am really so sorry that you had to go through all that you did. I'm losing my mind. Uh, I'm so myself. when did they actually scam me? Was it this year? No. It was last year. Mm. Which month would you say you gave them the last 200,000? In September. September last year. Mm. So since then, like, you've not heard from the police on what is happening with the case and mm -hmm. everything. 
What advice would you give someone out there? Um, stay away from these uh, herbal shops. For me, um, they need to be investigated, all these herbal shops, because there's more going on. The sewer shop things, it's just the frontal. They're just putting it there. It's not what they do, like taking this wash. Most of them. Yes, most of them. They have offices and where you go to scam you. In, inside the shop, inside the... They always make a place. I can tell you, when I went to open the case, I went to the detectives. Then my case was assigned to this detective. Then he said to me, we meet at the detective's office. Then I relayed my story. Then he said, hey, this thing is bad. Uh, just their office will go up. Next door, there's a herbal shop. He was telling me, this thing is happening just next to us here. And when you go there, it's just a herbal shop with all the mapai, the medicines, blah, blah, pepper, and etc., etc. And honestly speaking, um, I grew up not using these things. I'm still asking myself, how did I fall for this? I don't know. And honestly, they, they, they just, my mind, it was put it in this bottle and closed, like, I can't think out of the box, you know? I don't know whether I understand. I can't think. I'm just thinking about this and seeing one, two, three happening. I'll, I'll show you my, my phone, the conversation we had. Because I would ask, uh, go get the quotation for the franchise, any franchise that you want to do, the house you want, get, go, get the, the uh, document signed, and etc., etc. Get the car. Get the quotation, the car. I've got all those things. I saw the WhatsApp messages. Mm. You were sending them yes. calls, pictures mm. of the house, mm. your mm. links and mm. everything. Mm. Guys, please share these videos. Please share these videos. This is bigger than even we and think. It can happen to anyone. And it can happen to anyone. And it's not only just, oh, love scam. No. These scammers are wild. And... If I can tell you something today, boldly so I can say, there's no ancestor that speaks. Mm. All our ancestors are, are dead. Mm. They are in their graves. Mm. There is no ancestor that speaks. Mm. Mm. There is no ancestor that speaks. Mm. If anyone is coming to you, they're talking to you, and then there's like, oh, there's a two They are lying. Mm. There's no ancestor that way. speaks. And again, let me tell you, in order for you to make money, nobody should take your money. Nobody should. Mm -hmm. If they say they want to bless you, they should bless you. What is money. your money doing there in the blessing? Mm -hmm. You know? Mm -hmm. So please, guys, these stories are not made so that you guys can sit and say, oh, I'm smarter. That can never happen to me. That can never this and this and this. As I said, I will block you. You know, if you're rude in the comment section, I won't even lie. I will block you. But what I, I want is that these videos are for educational purposes. Please let's Let's show each other and show up for each other and support each other. So you did share to me that your, your husband is late. Mm -hmm. So it's only you now and the kids. Mm -hmm. And now, like, you know, you have been scammed. Ninjas, please, I will put her account details here yet again. I usually put our account details, obviously, for the show. But today, I'm going to put hers just so that at least, you know, please, guys, if you can, please help her. Please, 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 I'm begging you. Let's let's come together and let's help her. No matter how much you have, even if it's 200, even if it's 300, even if it's 1,000, if you can afford more, please, you know. Okay, um, Ninja, so obviously, right after we finished uh, uh, filming, you mentioned that unfortunately, if we are to put your banking details, mm -hmm. now people will know who you are and obviously that's what we're trying to run away from. Mm -hmm. So what I would do is that I'm going to be putting the Golden Beauty exclusive banking details um, the account is not being used right now. And so that's where all the donations will go. And then I will forward them to you. Okay. So what we'll do is that, guys, the, 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 the account can be audited. You know, it's not my personal account. So that account will be audited if that's something that you guys want. 
but I really hope that we can help. I will also help you out as well. I will also send something to you um, so that at least we can help you guys. Please, 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 if you can, you can afford to send something to her, please do. I'll make sure that all the money you actually get, if anything, you can even get the statement, you know, to see how much was there and you will see it matches the amount of money that I give you because that account is not being used right now. Um, so basically that is that. The only reason is that obviously we can't use her, son, her child's uh, details or anyone that is obviously linked to her because she does not want people to know who she is, which again is fair. Um, but again, I just want to say I am really sorry um, and hopefully things will be better soon. I feel I, I don't know really what to say because this is such an invasion, you know, this is such an invasion and I'm so sorry that this happened to you. You are definitely a victim. You should not blame yourself and I do pray to God that you will find it in your heart to forgive yourself. And I do pray to God that even in your weakest days, you'll find the strength to carry on and continue for your children's sake. If you can't find a reason to, sorry, to be here for you, please be here for your kids. Because, you know, me being someone that does not have a mom, I just can't imagine. So please don't have your kids go through that, you know. <laughs> so yeah ninjas please um just in situations like this i'm human i'm not just the you know the host of to helen beg i'm human and I do hope that, guys, please will come through for her. She did share some personal information with me. Hence, I decided that I'm going to just, you know, um, put her details here so that I know some of you guys don't want to donate because you think, oh, oh, I'm just getting the money. But please, this is her account details. Please use them and send her whatever it is that you can get just so that she can get that help because these people wiped her clean she does not have anything right now and i i wouldn't wish this even on my worst enemy and if you are a scammer the one that scammed her or you scam people for a living may you suffer the worst death may your death come slow and painful and as much as you think it's a hassle may that hassle be the one that kills you that's all I can actually say today. This episode was very emotional for me, especially also just because since we've been talking, she has shared a lot that obviously we won't want to reveal because we do want to keep her identity um, private. But this was one of the most difficult interviews I've had to actually do, especially because she does not have anyone, anyone at all, you know. Um, so again, I'm really sorry. And I do hope that you will thank you will you're stay welcome. strong. Thank you for okay. the platform. You're welcome. Thank and you thank you for sharing. Yeah. Thank you for sharing. Thank you so much. So, yeah, ninjas, I mean, you know, I love you guys. Stay blessed. Yeah, this one was quite a tough one. And I will see you guys in our next upload. Bye, ninjas.